in this tutorial we will learn about assembly click on new then select assembly ok here we are going to assemble the parts which we have already created if you want to learn how to create parts you can see my previous tutorials click on browse select the part and open and click the point to assemble other part click on insert components click on browse select the other part then open then click then you will have to define the mates between these two parts for defining mate click on mate then click on this surface I want to match this surface with this hole it has applied the concentric mate automatically then click on ok I want to match this surface with this surface click on this surface and this surface it applied the coincident mint automatically if you want you can make it anti-align so it will align from the opposite side the alignment of the following mates are reverse to prevent mate errors ok it has reversed the alignment of concentric mate you can tick on this don't tell me again in this session and click on ok if you want to align back click on this align it will align back click on ok ok here the part is underdefined because we have applied two mates and cylindrical part can be still rotated around its center normally to make it fully defined you will have to define minimum three constraint so that it will restrict moment in six degree of freedom to constrain the cylindrical part again we will click on mate then we will actually to avoid the rotation we will mate its one of the plane we will click on this shaft and we will take its vertical plane and we will select the surface of this plate and we will make it parallel click on this parallel so both will re always remain parallel therefore the cylindrical part will not rotate click on ok now you can view that it is fully defined we will insert one more component click on insert components browse then vertical plate open click outside if you want to rotate this component click here and select rotate component using free drag you can rotate it in a way you want and if you click on this about entity select the entity it will rotate about that entity and if you want to move the component then click on move component select the component and you can move it anywhere you want and if you want to move in one direction select this along entity select the entity at first clear this right click clear selection select the reference line then drag the component then ok click on ok now I want to place this component here in this slot click on mate select this surface I want to match this surface with this surface then next will be ok click on ok then this surface with this surface and again ok zoom fit this surface with this surface and ok now it is properly placed then ok I want to define some angle between this surface and this plate for that at first we will remove the existing mates right click delete yes this to all click on mate we will match this line with this line then ok click on ok then this surface and this surface if you want to make this object vertical perpendicular to this surface click on this here perpendicular it will make it perpendicular and if you want to define some angle click on this angle give the angle here how much you want 45 degree and from here you can reverse the direction or flip the component 
and by flipping this dimension also you can do that using this anti line you can take it inside or by aligning it back you can bring it outside anti align flip direction you can flip in this way anti align you can flip outside and you can flip inside in this way you can define the angle between two component okay then okay this holes has been created with pattern i want to put some object here and repeat it using this existing pattern for that i will insert one pin in this hole click on insert component browse select the pin open click outside click on mate this surface with this hole okay then this surface with this surface zoom fit and okay now this holes has been created using pattern you can repeat it using this feature driven component pattern click on feature driven component pattern then select the component to pattern this pin then click on this driving feature and select this feature so it will place all the component as per your pattern feature and if you want to cancel some instances click on these dots so it will cancel the instances and if you want to propagate the properties the color and other properties click on this visual properties click on okay so as for that it will create the pattern if you want to mirror the component then click on this mirror components click on the mirror plane i want to mirror this around the center plane click on here and take this right plane component to mirror is this one and click on okay so it has mirror around that plane in this way you can mirror the component also and if you want to place the smart fasteners in the holes for that we will just remove this mirror component delete it yes and delete this array also pattern also and remove this pin also remove this vertical plate click on smart fasteners click on ok select the surface then click on add now i don't need this big fastener select the group group one right click and delete it now there are only this surrounding fasteners then from here you can right click and change fastener type and you can choose the type you required and here you can decide whether you want to auto size to the whole diameter and if you tick it it will automatically update the length and you can add the washers from here if you need a suppose this flat washer it will add the washers in the bottom stack also you can add the nut so here nut has been added from here you can change the sizes once all the parameters defined click on ok if during assembly because of some part you are facing problem you can show ahead the component click on the component you want to hide and click on hide components so it will get hidden and you can see the internal parts if you want to bring it back click on it and click on show component if you want to make it transparent click on the component and click on change transparency so it will become transparent then to make it normal again click there and click on here so it will get again normal to create the exploded view click on this exploded view and select the component you want to move click the axis and drag it and you can drag it by the distance then suppose this component 
just select it and drag it if you want to drag multiple components select the component using control so that you can drag it at the same time and drag it so at the same time you can drag the multiple components also press control and select the multiple components and drag it an isometric view and same way here you can use the window also and drag it down skip isometric view so in this way you can create the exploded view if you want to cancel the exploded view click on this configuration manager then click plus before the default and right click on this expl view one and collapse so it will again become normal view and if you want to again explode it right click and click on explode so it will again explode it and if you want to create the explode line sketch click on it then select the surfaces connecting surfaces and okay in this way you can create the route line click on okay then click on rebuild and again right click collapse that's all thanks for watching we will stop here